Welcome to Zambia, a land of smiling faces, impressive waterfalls, wide expanses, and wild animals. I'm here to document the work of Adventist World Radio and how the Lord is using our broadcast to touch the lives of people here. Hi, I'm Cami, and this is AWR 360. Today we are traveling out of town on bumpy dirt roads to find Debbie and hear his story. Debbie lives in a mud hut surrounded by fields and gardens. Several of his children and grandchildren live nearby, adding joy to his days. It is very peaceful here and Debbie tells us with a grin that this is his favorite place to be. After showing us his beloved radio, Debbie begins to tell his story. I attended a Catholic school growing up and soon became a devout Catholic. Time passed. Debbie married and ten children were born to them. After years in the Catholic Church, Debbie began questioning some of the foundational doctrines he had been taught. As he began to study the Bible for himself, Debbie saw in the Ten Commandments that God forbids the worship of idols. This and other beliefs caused Debbie to question his Catholic faith, and before long, he left the church. In search of truth, Debbie joined one denomination after another, always leaving with unanswered questions, unsatisfied with the interpretations of scripture he found. One day, while listening to the radio, Debbie stumbled across an AWR broadcast. He listened eagerly as a Bible-based message was preached. Maybe this was what he was looking for. I was so intrigued with the Adventist World Radio program, and every day after listening, I would go to my Bible and study for myself to see if what I heard was true. As Debbie continued listening and studying, he came to understand new truths, and his many questions were finally being answered. To his surprise, Debbie learned that the day of worship was changed by the Catholic Church from Saturday to Sunday, and that the seventh-day Sabbath was created as a memorial of creation and kept holy by Jesus and his disciples as an example for us. The law of God wasn't changed after all. Debbie soon found a local Seventh-day Adventist church and began attending regularly with his children. After years of searching and visiting so many different churches, Debbie finally felt at home. Before long, Debbie and seven of his children were baptized in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They happily attend church together every Sabbath, and Debbie is now a deacon serving his church faithfully. Having finally found Bible truth, Debbie loves to share with others what he has learned. He hopes that one day soon his wife, other children, and many friends will join him in the faith. Debbie shared with us that one of his favorite verses is John 8:32, which reads, You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. I am so thankful for the work of Adventist World Radio and for the Bible messages that lead me to the truth and set me free. Will you join us in spreading the gospel message filled with peace and hope to countries like Zambia? Please pray for the work of Adventist World Radio and consider contributing today. Together we are making waves from broadcast to baptism. This is AWR 360.